Hi Pisces, welcome and so welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Light Sears Tarot which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing because I would love to have you join us here. Also, at the end of this message, like, comment, share, turn on your notification, check out the community tab as well as the shorts. And if you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment. You can just leave me a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. The cards were pre-shuffled, so let's get to your message. God Most High, what is the divine guidance and encouragement for Pisces, that's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. Cards are sticking together. Okay, I'm just going to take it since they're stuck together, Pisces. What's got you feeling stuck? Something's got you feeling stuck, Pisces? Huh? Talk to me. If you're feeling stuck in any way, I feel like what will help you to shift and move the energy is some meditation or just go outside in, in nature, or you can simply shift something around in your environment, whatever that is, a, a chair or an item or anything to move the energy and that will help you in, in the shift. Okay, so consider that. So you have uh, the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is encouraging you to uh, give time, effort, and energy to whatever it is that you're working on. You may have to enlist the help of others, but know that the outcome will be successful. You will achieve what it is you desire to, but it's just going to take the energy, the time, and the effort to do so. So quitting is not an option. If you need to enlist someone's help, enlist someone's help that you know will be dedicated to the cause that will give 110%, right? And let it be someone who has the, the same interest as well. If they have no interest in what you're working on, then it may not be something that they truly want to put their heart in so you want someone who's going to exert the same type of energy and effort as you okay but it's definitely going to be a successful outcome it's just a matter of getting the help that you need just ask for the help it's that simple okay you also have um the death card so my condolences to anyone who has lost a loved one or lost a pet my deepest condolences to you and i pray that the peace and love of god most high or however you honor the higher power will just envelop you and bring you through these days ahead as you grieve as you mourn as you go through this process of this new start excuse me this new start to your life without your loved one being in the earth realm in the physical realm or your pet being in the earth realm but being in the spiritual realm where they're still with you right of course you just are unable to have that physical touch that you're accustomed to you know what i mean or that physical connection but always remember that they're always in the spirit world with you working with you, connecting with you, just be open. They're speaking a different language. So you have to be aware of signs and symbols and synchronicities. Just be aware of the aroma of their perfume or cologne or their favorite food repeatedly showing up for you, um, their name popping up. Just be aware of those things. That's them connecting with you, all right? Just be sensitive to connecting with their spirit, all right? Now, also, this is a time of death and rebirth. And when it relates to um, experiencing death for with the in our physical being, it's just simply, maybe I shouldn't say simply, but it is that it's time to release and let go whatever no longer serves you so that you can move forward 
with a new beginning, right? So it's time to release and let go of people, places, things that don't serve you. Mindset, practices, habits, um, traditions. Release and let go of those things that don't serve your well-being and move forward in the direction in which God most high or however you honor the higher power is nudging you, is leading you to. You're going to be glad that you did because it brings with it a new fresh start, okay? It doesn't matter your gender, your age. It brings with it a new fresh start. So it's time to embrace this new fresh start. Time is of the essence, okay? This is a major arcana card. So it's a major time for you. So the death is releasing and letting go what no longer serves you. And the rebirth is starting fresh, anew. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Yesterday is over. You can't get it back. So embrace moving forward. Embrace the new. Okay? Whatever that looks like for you. You also have the Six of Pentacles, which encourages you to be um, mindful as you assist others financially or as you assist others with your time and your gifts. So create balance. Six is associated with balance and harmony. So don't overextend yourself financially or with your time and your gifts. Don't overextend yourself where you're depleted. And let's take a look here. You've got the infinity sign twice. You see that? It's here on the death and rebirth card. And it's also here on the six of pentacles. So the possibilities are infinite when it comes to you managing your finances, your time, your gift or gifts. There's infinite possibilities in which you, you can execute so that you don't deplete yourself. That you pour out so much that your cup, which was full, is empty. And you have nothing left for yourself. Those days are over. It's time for you to ensure that you have plenty for yourself. Even when you aid and assist others. So don't deplete your finances. To get someone out of a financial difficulty that they put themselves in. Don't deplete your savings. Do as much as you can do to assist them without depleting your reserve. And I would also say it's important that you even discern how much assistance is required of you so that you're not taken advantage of. Because for some of you, this is repetitive, like someone's continuously coming to you for financial assistance or can you do me this favor? They're always depending on you. It's time for them to stand up on their own two feet. And sometimes God most high or however you honor the higher power is trying to teach them a lesson. And here you are rescuing them. So be mindful not to overextend yourself and to ensure that you only do what you're led to do, nothing more and nothing less. And if you're led to not assist financially because they need wisdom and knowledge, then give them the wisdom and knowledge. That's currency too. Because sometimes people don't need, they don't need money. They don't need that dollar bill, whatever your currency looks like. 
They don't need that. They need wisdom and knowledge on how to become more financial sta financially stable. They need the wisdom. They need the instructions. They need the plan that you have that's worked for you to be shared with them. They may not execute it the same, but they can glean from it and they can learn and then they can put together their own way of wanting to execute a plan to better themselves. You know what I'm saying? Pentacles is associated with money, material wealth. Also, it is associated with home and work, your work environment. And when I speak of home, your family unit, your family, it's about family. You know what I mean? So look at how you can create balance. And for some of you, the, peop the person, the people or the person who's a re repeat offender, no disrespect. But if they're a repeat offender, like they continuously just come back all the time, it's now time for you to set some boundaries and for you to teach them, teach them and show them the way. As the saying goes, it's better to teach a man how to fish than to always give him a fish. Child, I think I might be saying it wrong, but I think I'm saying it right. I probably missed something out there. Don't, don't worry about correcting me. Just, you know. <laughs> just take the message as it's being given. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get my point. So don't stress yourself out by trying to correct me. I'm just saying, <laughs> just get the message that it's better to teach someone how to do something than constantly give them that particular thing. You know what I mean? And there's no... There's no disrespect in doing that. That's how you empower people. To let them take, 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 take all the time. You're going to get tired of that. You're going to get tired of it. Trust me. If you're not tired yet, you will get tired. So to, con so to prevent from you getting tired and frustrated, just simply have a conversation and say, I will do this for you. But in addition to doing this for you, I'm going to provide you some wisdom and knowledge on how to create the financial wealth for financial stability that you desire. Or this time you don't need the tangible. You need wisdom and knowledge on how to obtain this financial success. You don't have to use my formula, but here's an idea. You know what I mean? It works. And I know it works. How do I know? Because I've had to do that. And it worked. And trust me, the person was a little reluctant at first, but then Pisces, they, they heard me out. I provided them with some instructions. They applied the instructions. And to this day, this person tells other people, this is what D taught me how to do because I needed this. And she told me, if I'm good, I said, no, this is what I told the person. I said, I know you want money, right? Because of your financial situation. I will give you the money under one condition, which is that you let me teach you this formula on how to do what I've done. And the person looked at me like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was serious. Because I was like, you're not getting my money. You're not going to get that money today. I'm not going to give you this money today if you're not going to be open to let me teach you something. You know what I'm saying? So after a few moments of silence, they said, okay. And I taught them some, I gave them some tools. I gave them some tools. And to this day, they tell other people, 
This is what she taught me because I had a need. And she said, I'm going to meet your need, but you're going to need to do this in order to get that need met. Yeah, I gave her an ultimatum because that's my money. It was my money. And this was someone who repetitively needed financial assistance. They kept coming to me. And I'm like, yeah, no, let me teach you something. So that's what I did. So I'm telling you what I know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, trust me, okay? All right, moving right along. Cause y'all like, girl, we tired of hearing about that. Let's go. All right, so your final card is the Four of Swords. Nurture yourself, give yourself some time to rest and relax, okay? Just make some time to relax. Alone. Make time for solitude so you can just woosa, relax. Okay, Pisces. As you can see here, she's so comfy. Look at her. She's so comfy, enjoying her time alone and relax her relaxation. All right, relaxing is going to help you to have clarity of mind. And it's going to rejuvenate your body. You're going to feel so much better when you make some time to relax, okay? Take good care of yourself. Get the rest that your body is desiring. So since we have a bird's nest here, I'm going to get for you the spirit animal bird card that comes up in the deck. The first bird card that comes up in the spirit animal oracle card deck, I'm going to read for you. Okay, let's see what the first bird card is. Okay, we've got Blue Jay. And the Blue Jay message is, this wasn't planned. I'm just throwing this in here because I feel compelled to do so. Uh, the Blue Jay intuition. Oh, trust your intuition. Okay, you are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. That goes back to death and rebirth. And it also goes back to using discernment and trusting your intuition as you aid and assist others. All right, Pisces. So this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me. Take good care of yourself and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.